So this is Horn? Yeah, Elven Traps, yeah. You think I got this one? <laughs> this... Oh, Chiru! Okay. It's not... Oh, it's actually pretty good. It's a pretty good Shiru. I don't think it'll be enough. Kill Simlas, is it? Oh, right. Hits that. Smart. Yeah, well played, man. This is going to be Horn. I think we should be alright. We got two points here. Come on, lady of the wood. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. 20 points. I don't think so. Cool. Interesting. Interesting deck. Let's get Aitney. Come on. Come on, dude. Probably, well... Probably need it? But Forest Protector pulls... No. Oh crap, I don't have one. Oh, yes! Yes! Thank you, lucky stars! Should I give it another click? No, maybe not. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Classic magic. Yeah. <laughs> What's up legends, welcome back to another deck guide. Before we get into today's list, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please take the time to do so now. My next objective is to reach 10,000 subscribers and I'd really appreciate your help and support in achieving that goal. So for today, I've put together a Symbiosis list. Haven't played Symbiosis for quite a while, but it still performs very strong. So I've come back around to another variation of a list that I've put together, utilizing the Nature's Gift Leader ability. So with nature's gift, um, the leader itself has symbiosis, meaning whenever we play a nature card, we get to spawn a wandering trend on a random allied row and set its power equal to the number of symbiosis units that we control. Basically, what we want to do is have as many symbiosis units down on the board as possible before we commit the majority of our nature cards in this deck. What the order does is that we have three charges and we get to give an allied unit vitality two. With the charges, we really look to reserve those charges to be utilized with the Hummer Dryads because vitality um, works very good with this card in particular as opposed to the rest of the list. So when we're going first round one, you could definitely offload one charge here. And then let's say round two or three, you could utilize the other charge <coughs> when you play the next Hummer Dryad. And also, one of the other charges could be reserved for fricks in it in some cases so the stratagem that we're utilizing is crystal skull we get the boost in the allied unit by four giving it veil veil is pretty good because it gives your cards protection from gaining statuses so just in case something gets locked or poison poison kind of cards and plays are pretty prevalent at this time especially with the line pockets poisonless so crystal skull could definitely come in handy and really what we're looking to do with Crystal Skull is to play it onto the Sorceress. We boost her up and she plays for greater value according to her order ability. So this is of course when we go first. What I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up. Explain how best to play each card, when to play it during a match. And then we're going to discuss how to execute the strategy for this deck. So to begin with we've got one Dryad Enchantress. On melee row if you play this card given allied unit 3 armor, deploy ranged, given allied unit vitality 3. We're more so looking to play this card for the ranged row because we've got a number of cards that synergize well when they have vitality. So we can use enchantress 
round one if you like any point during the match but in particular try to save the enchantress to be played in combination with the dryad um you're giving the dryad vit vitality that works better with this card's ability so then that could save you from utilizing leader charge for example moving on we've got two temperings they're nature cards here so they fit with the theme of this deck symbiosis boost an ally by five if it's a dwarf also give it two armor these cards are more so fillers in this deck you can use tempering to be played onto sorceress to boost her up so she plays for greater value with her order or you could play tempering into elven seer so this card gets to play tempering twice those are some combos not necessarily cards i look for when playing this deck but they offer some good synergies try to play these after having symbiosis units down on the board double dryad's caress this card's really good because we basically have a number of purifiers in this deck with this card we get to purify an allied unit boost it by three if we control the dryad we're also giving it vitality for three turns so once again because of the vitality aspect of this card you may wish to use this on the hummer dryads in particular or you could use it on fricks in it because of how this card's um devotion ability works as well so this card also has good synergy if sorceress gets locked um or seer gets locked because we're removing a lock playing the card into that card and it makes them play for greater value we have elven seer when we target this unit with a bronze special card spawn and play a copy of that special card so like i said if elven seer gets locked it's a really good move to play the caress onto this because not only will it purify the card, re-enable it, um, Seer will replay Dryad's Caress right away, which is pretty good value. Uh, what I'd say is that what we want to do is really play one of each bronze copy of this card per round. So when you're playing round one, feel free to utilize one Sorceress, one Dryad, one Elven Seer, and the rest of the copies that we have here that you can see except bountiful harvest we want to play that with simlas let simlas thin both both copies out but um basically what the sequencing will be is that you're going to play the hummer dried um first thing round one click leader charge onto it followed by sorceress give it stratagem and then you're playing seer so we're using those cards as a combination together and then let's say if you give seer the ability to replay dried's caress you can replay that back onto the dryad so there's a bit of a combination with these cards so this card's a symbiosis unit at the end of your turn if this unit has vitality boost self by one so we want to make sure this has consistently got vitality and like i said we do that through the use of leader you can do that through the use of our nature card dryad's caress um shaping nature we can select an option which gives vitality and also the bronze card the dryad enchantress those are the ways we're going to look to keep this card consistent through the match. You play one in round one early before you start committing nature cards. And then you're going to do the same thing for round two or three. So try to go one per round, basically. I mean, we only got two, but you know what I mean? Like either ra one round one and then the other round two or three. We've got double nature's rebuke. This is to give our deck some control. It's a nature card as well. Works really good in a deck like this. Because on Deathblow, we get to boost a random ally Trent by two. We got a lot of Trents because of how the Symbiosis leader works. So this card plays for really good value in a deck like this especially. So five points of damage. Try to get the Deathblow as much as possible. Um, what I'd say with the Rebukes is... Like in a short round three, we can kind of play a unitless strategy. Because we've got Eitni immunity. She can't be manually targeted. So if you open up into a short round through the Eitni and then just play like a rebuke or two and then your last card's Gord, maybe you can make the opponent waste some control of theirs. That's kind of how I like to sequence the play. Um, with the Sorceress, the order is that you get to create and play a Bronze uh, Squirtel special card with a provision cost equal to or lower than this card's power. To get the best value out of this card, we really want to boost it most of the time. So like I said, when we go first, give it stratagem. Hopefully it can get you something good like a bountiful harvest. <coughs> Maybe orbs that you could play onto the dryad. Um, in the best case scenario, we're going to try to utilize a card which we, we can replay onto Elven Seer for the best value possible. And then, like I said, we play one sorceress, one seer round one. 
play the other pair round two or three together and try to keep them together because they play really good like that if you could save sorceress and seer as a combination so then we've got two bountiful harvest in this deck the way we're looking to play this card is not manually um from our hand leave both copies in your deck and what you're going to do is utilize simlas to thin both copies out this provides a pretty big tempo play what simlas does is play all copies of a bronze special card from your deck we have a number of different options you could go for but bountiful harvest is what we're saving simlas for and the way we want to execute this is to help with a strong bleed into round two because it's a it's a nice point swing that it provides us so don't commit simlas until both both harvest cards are insured in your deck and i really suggest we try to bleed and do this round two so in round three we don't brick this play so at that time let's say we commit simlas double harvest after having some symbiosis units down on the board round two what this card does is create and play a, a bronze scoitel elf um you'll get a selection spawn one of three and then we're boosting in our hand by two as well which is pretty good value um best choices for you to select will be cards which do damage the elf units which can damage by three i think are usually best if you could get a sorceress that would be pretty good as well so bountiful harvest simlas round two on the bleed for some more control we have this elf unit in this deck on deploy you get to lock a unit move it to the other row um i chose this unit over the dryad which locks and damages because this unit here offers movement as well if you simply lock a unit that's row locked and the opponent has a purify they could use it again but this really gives an extra degree of difficulty that the opponent has to work around so try to save this card obviously um try to make it worth its value when you play it with gourd this card finds a lot of value in a list like ours because we're playing so many special cards so the deploy starts off as boosts off by zero increase the boost by one for every special card you play this game boost cannot exceed 12 so it's it's kind of capped off at that point gourd is kind of our last card that we play at the very end of a match when we've ensured maximum boost and works best probably playing this out in a short round three situation in my opinion so in order to ensure that we get gourd i have isengrim's council in this deck this is a nature card too look at a random dwarf dryad elf from your deck play one boost it by two um gourd is the only dwarf that we have in here so this card will always give us gourd as an option to play so you can always leave gourd in your deck as long as you have this card in your hand and you can use this to pull it out at the end of a match so we also have Fuav in here. Deploy, play a nature card from your deck. What I like to do is utilize this card round one to help give us a few extra points. And in particular, <coughs> I like to go ahead and pull out um, this echo card that we have here called Shaping Nature. Echo card means that we can play a card twice. We've got three different options we can utilize here. You'll find most of the time the option that you go for is boost an allied unit by five give it vitality five because that has a lot of synergy with a number of cards in our deck but outside of that you'd probably go for boost an ally by eight which could work pretty good on sorceress to make her order ability work better anyway you can definitely utilize one of these charges round one and you can utilize the second charge um round two in combination with Frixinet using Frixinet on the bleed so this card has a zeal order ability range throw lock you have to play at range throw spawn a young dryad on this row that's this two power token unit that you see here this is a symbiosis unit too which is really good basically if this card sticks on the board it can make our nature cards play for really good value it this card's got a cooldown of four devotion at the end of your turn lower the cooldown by the duration of vitality on self so when we play this card down you could contribute one leader charge here to to get better value out of the order play more of the token units sooner but if not like i said shaping nature could be committed onto this for the vitality option um boost this card up make it stick on the board and produce a lot of the young dryad token units 
So in my estimation, fixing it um, round two, opener on the bleed, really good range throw if you can play it that way. Council, we've covered. Try to just save this for Gord. Shaping nature, we've covered. Uh, call the forest. <coughs> um, what this card allows you to do is play a Scoyotol unit from your deck. Boost it by one. So that's basically what you'd call a tutor card. With Call of the Forest, you can save this to ensure you pull Simlas out for, for the bleed round two, if you like. Maybe Eitney for short round three. Those are the kind of options you'd go for with this card. Forest Protector, deploy, play a bronze nature card from your graveyard. Forest Protector is a great card in a deck like this. Um, it can give us extra control by replaying a rebuke if we like in addition to that replaying bountiful harvest could be pretty good or maybe in some matches you're versing a lot of poisons and locks and you want to go for another purify so that's how we're looking to use forest protector i think it's a it's a kind of a flexible card to use at any point really um but probably better reserve round two or three so we've covered simlas use simlas round two on the bleed Play double bountiful harvest and then the powerhouse of this deck is pretty much eitney this card you see here so we're looking to play this round three so we get this final stage which is very strong <coughs> um wrath of brock launch is called in this stage so in this stage she's an immunity unit she can't be targeted manually by your opponent's control so i mean she's pretty much going to stick on the board not get removed or deleted symbiosis three whenever we play a nature card spawn a wandering trend on a random allied row setting its power to this this contributes to that symbiosis three which is solid so the way we want to play eitney is whatever round we're deciding to commit her into well I'd, I'd say it should be round three in all honesty okay so let's say we're going to commit her round three as an opener definitely because she's going to give us a lot of value as we play our remaining nature cards out so play eitney open around three and just play your nature cards out if you can save some rebukes to go unitless playing an immunity cards such as her i think that's a good line to take and then let's say your final move of the match is just gored after that okay so that's what we want to do with eitney so now that i've gone over the list let me explain how to execute the strategy for this deck try to win round one utilizing one of each bronze card copy except the bountiful harvest okay save those for round two on the bleed so round one you can open up by playing the dryad utilizing a leader charge play sorceress give it stratagem play elven seer use sorceress to play a card into seer replay the card um, from there we could also play dryad enchantress you can play um, this card here into shaping nature usually that should be enough to get you around control it's pretty solid points there best case scenario is that in round two we can bleed utilizing a dryad fricks in it get our symbiosis units down the board and then once you have your symbiosis units down the board you're going to go for a huge bleed utilizing simless to pull you both harvests and then just dig into that round as far as you can you, you could definitely 2-0 with this deck, but if you want to get some good stuff out of the opponent, just push really hard. You could even use Forest Protector around too if you like. Your remaining nature cards. <coughs> Pass. Go into a short round three. And then what I suggest you do is that you open up a short round three using Eitney in the immunity form. Let's say you go unitless, maybe playing a rebuke if you have it left, or two rebukes would be really good. And then your final play at the end of the match is just going to be Gord for a huge point slam. And I really believe this deck is efficient enough to help you rank up, get a good number of wins. So I hope you enjoy the following matches. Thank you for your time and support as always. And please leave a comment down below. Is that how I should do it? Yeah, probably going to take that line. <laughs> Thanks, Afghan. Appreciate it. That's it. Spend. Yes, spend, spend, spend. I'll let you take the round. Don't worry. I'm just going to let you spend. Good. Very, very good. Uh, 
Um, hold on, what cards do I have here? Trees live um, my my uh my tactic will be to let them spend more than me. That's how I'm gonna try to play this. The forest holds many secrets. See you around, Dub. All the best to you, my friend. Not alive at any rate. War will be our downfall. This I have seen. Happy to finally catch my stream. Welcome. Nice to see you here. To insomnia? Really? Oh, sorry to hear that. Mate, we're gonna keep you up with all the positive vibes. <laughs> I guarantee you. It's probably not the right place to come if you're trying to get back to bed, alright? So we're going to give opponent round control to reserve um, our greater cards. And uh, they do whatever they want. Shut up, shut up, yeah, go for it, man. There you go. Good. So they've committed in it. We still got ours. Now we can play ours into this round to resist bleed. That's how I'm going to go about it. Right, caress. Probably looking for a sorceress, really. Right. Try it. Are they going to use leader? Okay, right. Um... We just kind of copy them. Mother Earth, I grant you my life. From you to to you to Love playing symbiosis. Children giving parents up. Right. It is inevitable. Nucleator, what's good, my friend? Nice to see you. All right. I could drown you in a single drop. We could definitely force protector there. Probably the right line. Got a symbiosis unit down. I'm liking it. Okay, looking good. Just try to destroy their uh, important units. Sure. Yeah, we can pretty much mimic that. I don't know exactly how far they're looking to push it, but... We definitely want to ensure that we're going to have the edge, so I'll play this. Who would have thought? Yeah, rebukes. This could also die to rebuke. Tempering. Maybe opponent slowing down. It could be it could be council. The only good human is a dead human. Gets me a lock. Yeah, they've they've used quite a few. Purifies. I was hoping for a sorceress. Okay, we have Simless too. Yeah, I think we're still good. Definitely still okay here.
what's a good substitute for council um like you could play without council but because it's a tutor card right maybe your consistency in your deck's not going to be as good but just try it maybe it's still okay maybe the thinning in this deck's still good to play around not having it so just experiment but if you're going to substitute something make sure it's all st cards because the devotion list has to be st cards why should i an elf a sage converse with an ape probably just yeah it's probably that Bad. Yeah, for that. Blood and Nehem. Similian Bath. What? I think we got it. They should be passing here. Wow. <coughs> Thanks, Zero. Appreciate it. Yeah, great. Oh, that's lovely, man. Put us in such a good spot. Knights are very hard to beat. They're ridiculously overpowered. I lost twice to knights. Crap, eh? Nice. I can click around. Yeah, great. Fantastic. How many rebukes? Forest protectors out. One rebuke. Okay. So they could have another now. They could have another rebuke. See if we can bait out the rebuke before I play Sorceress. Make her stick. Come to me, little one. Oh, do we want to get rebuked now? Over there. Second last play. Chantress. Man, this list is so similar to mine. <laughs> Are they playing my old list maybe from uh, before? It is so freaking similar to my list. Spit it out already. I don't have all day. Their devotion. Could be rebuke. Or gourd last, is it? Probably gourd. Oh wow. Neither. Okay, yeah, goes for Gord. That's smart. Well done, friend. Well done. Oh, yeah, that was a good win. Nice, nice. The insane. It's a strong deck, that one. It's very strong. I tried my best, honestly. That's that's why I pushed into round two. I wanted to see Regis out. Because I know he's too, too many points. Even if I get card advantage into short round three, maybe they still defeat me. 
Because that's how strong that is. That play. What do you guys reckon? Heat waves necessary? Yeah, but it's devotion. I can't do that. Can't really do it, my friend. Okay, so it's a veiled unit now. Uh, choke the embers. Wind blow the flame. Tall punish for devotion. Tall punish for devotion. Not really many off the top of your head, huh? <laughs> I know monsters have got like Imlarus Wrath. That's pretty good for them. <laughs> But in this kind of a, a build, I don't know. Mm. Children giving parents up unto death. Serpent trap, yeah. On the spring, really nice. Yep, that's a good call. Honda. We got freaking Yurden, man. Crap, I, I didn't see Yurden. I was thinking Igni. <laughs> but freaking Yurden, dude. Nah, I wasn't thinking Yurden on that vamp deck, honestly. <laughs> I'll be completely honest. There's no way I saw that coming. <laughs> Yeah, true. I know, I know. <laughs> like, I expect Igni with um, the Renfree decks. Because usually that's what they go for. But not, not the Yodan. Our caress will come in handy in this match poisons deck. Should be pretty nice. Mage. You going to work? Catch you around, my friend. Take care. Thanks for your time. Thanks for the match. By denying penance, you confirm yeah, Veil's great. Seems to be really good now against this poison deck. Okay, take it. <laughs> take it, man. We're going to look for Dryad's Caress. Forest Protector can replay it. That's probably what we're going to do here. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Oh, it's Crystal Skull. You're an extremely intelligent player, Lemon. Have I ever told you that? Shall they wish to bleed me? Maybe that's better for us. I haven't seen Sea Hill today. How about yourself? Ooh. Could try to take advantage of it. Do I just go straight into um like Simless double harvest? Because we don't want bricks later anyway. It's more of a round two card. I don't have symbiosis units, but whatever. Only one with no sense would trust the word of a Hmm. Probably don't want to do we want to spread damage? Okay, maybe we can kill that spender. I don't know. Nah. 
Nah, not really good, is it? This is crap. Good morning, legend. Finally managed to have a morning without meetings. <laughs> nice, was good, Bass. Glad to see you here, my friend. Thank you for taking the time. You're going down. You want the taunt, you're gonna get it. You asked for it. You asked for it. Shouldn't have messed with us. You haven't seen Seahorn two, three days. Mate, I feel so happy for you. That's fantastic for your mental health. <laughs> this is crab. Yeah, Simlas um, didn't come through crazy good as we'd want. Exactly. How much control they used? Paydays. You hate playing it. What's your guys' most dreaded um, styles to verse? Can you pick one off the top of your head? Or are they just like, is there a draw that you hate so some of them so much? <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, that's fantastic. That was really well played. Locks probably the way. Keeps us ahead still. Mill, Mill, wow. So Mill's the one. Wow, really? So people still rank Mill up there? Even though you don't really see it played anymore. It was like the go to before. Let's try to stay ahead, huh? The forest holds many secrets. Against Seahill. <laughs> oh, gang. How could you? <laughs> oh, so this just dies if I play it next? Well, let's see about that as well. We must banish her. I see no other plan, sir. Can we get double tempering? Oh, it just gets killed off with a poison. Opponents kind of bleeding themselves here. The one who knocks. <laughs> that was good, Ash. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, you did great for yourself there. Oh my golly gosh. This will play for six. Do I have to spend another leader charge? Oh, it's gonna be like pass and then goes back to me, right? Yeah, okay. <coughs> Good. Let's get Aitney. Come on. Come on, dude. Probably, well, we well, need it. But forest protector pulls. No, oh, crap! I don't have one. Oh yes, yes. Thank you, lucky stars. 
Should give it another click. No, maybe not. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Classic magic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh i love hyping it up when it happens too i try to make it like it's such a huge moment as possible you know <laughs> oh it's so funny man oh we're having a good time we're having a good time what hemel fart yes you have you made your offering seriously Hemel fart. What is this deck? Fire sworn off the books hybrid. It's a crazy list, man. Absolutely astonishing list. Maybe we get rid of that. Well, they're just bringing it back, though. That's the problem. Maybe a harvest. Yeah. Yeah, see be looking good to me, baby. Oh. Sugar. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you can have fun uh, when you play Gwent, my friends. This is the only way to play Gwent, I'm telling you right now. No fear of poisons? <laughs> right on, right on. Uh, yeah, I think we're doing all this, eh? Won't you come and put it down on me? <laughs> We've been doing everything on my stream. We're singing songs, we're talking about life, everything, man. Multi-universe. <laughs> Belt it. <laughs> man. That's something that will have you going to sleep really quick. <laughs> They'll cue your insomnia quick. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ooh, all right. Yo, we got points, man. Have you made your offering? Bender? Best commodity in town. I swear it. This is so close. Got one in state. Got it? Oh my goodness. good to find a dryad's caress oh we didn't find it heavy lock deck maybe this is cultist mm. there is a nice card that turns all traps to dead eyes yes eldane you didn't know about eldane lemon you haven't played that style before traps <laughs> Rune Mage Imprisonment With the Tortoise What kind of a deck is this? Doesn't play traps <laughs> Hey what are you trying to say about me dub? <laughs> What is it now? 
I like playing traps, man. Um, yeah, you could get the Enchantress. I was thinking maybe Renfrey Zeros, yeah. Because it's got Tortoise in there. <laughs> okay. I you, you reckon Sea Hill passed up? I, I think we would have seen um, opening play being a spy unit if Sea Hill. Most likely. I'm really not happy with our hand here. I don't really see us winning this, so I was gonna go. Nah, we're just gonna do an early pass, unfortunately. Not really something I wanna do. Okay, good. Get some good things out. Come on. Yeah, it's run free, man. It's run free. Yeah, we out of this round. We out of here. Renfrey imprisonment. Um, how do you guys think Renfrey plays now? Like, um, what what kind of a style does she play best in? Me personally, I just I see vampires is pretty solid with her still. Regis reborn. Yeah, I like this hand a bit better because I got this to combat lock. I could replay um, purify with that. Yeah, something like that. I'm gonna bait out more locks. Yeah. It's Ren free already. They'll pay for my stolen birthright. So now, yeah, she's a doomed unit now. Not really easy to just play. Damage six. They could go for the cooldown here, huh? It's way out. They could still do it. It's cooldown of seven, isn't it? The option. Renfrey relics. How does it perform, Dub? After the uh, the nerfs and that, still happy with it? Are they are they attempting to bleed me? Tis my tree. I was born with it. <laughs> I shall die with it. I just want to see what they're doing here, right? Should I buff it up with leader? I just, let's just see what they do. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. They purified Renfrey. Crap. Right. I'm no fun. Get fish, I still enjoy. My goodness. Was that one of the nerfs? Is it eight cooldown? Is it? Explain the skill from Shield Maid. You mean the Knight card? Oh, there's so many points out here. Ten. Does that have to be Forest Protector? For a protector into tempering, maybe. And we want to save Simless. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, basically, what you have to do with this ca that card is aim to get its power to a certain level, and then you'll see how it says Grace Eight, Grace whatever. As you reach those points, certain aspect of the card activates and enables. And just pay attention to what the text says on those power points, and that's what will happen. Okay? 
I hope that makes sense. Do I have a way of getting gourd? Yes, they got this for gourd. Mm, probably keep it. Probably keep it. Okay. <coughs> Damage an enemy by six. That's a that has to be manually selected. Cooldown eight. It's on cooldown six right now. Um, feel free to jump onto my YouTube channel and search the Knights deck that I released. And if you go through the deck guide, the beginning of the video, you'll find a clear explanation on how to utilize that card. Thank you, Lemon. Appreciate that. Um, so this is my only symbiosis unit in this stage. We should probably just go straight for Simless, isn't it? At your age, at two <laughs> centuries, you behave like you were barely one. Yeah, not bad, I guess. I mean, that could come in handy. It could give them a few different threats. Yeah. Um, Vilga forts. Yeah, there's a few different things to worry about. Okay. I'll boot you to the crows. Yeah, definitely um, jump on the Discord. If you really want a thorough and in-depth explanation, my mods will, will take you through it step by step. But the guide will show you as well. Well, we know they wasted the um, purifier they had. So what's that getting me, really? Rebukes, huh? I could probably just go on for the lock there. Humans are not to be trusted. Thank you, Lemon. Thank you. you We've got a rebuke there. Okay. Loving the music? Nice, nice. <laughs> wow. Yo. How many bloody illusionists you got in there, man? <laughs> I, I could just go for another rebuke onto there. And we got Seer with this. Right? Probably makes sense, value wise. Oh, you're doing it that way. Oh, yeah. I think the four's probably gonna eat a Vilga Forts. I got a feeling about it. We're just gonna beat opponent's cooldown. I could go Shaping Nature. It's gonna be like... Oh, really? Yeah, well, we got the Seer. We can Purify. We want to target something lower powered with this. I'm probably just going for a boost of eight at this point. This deck has got so many points. My goodness. Yeah, that's right, Dub. Another one. Yeah. We'll see how it plays now um, since it's been nerfed. I haven't come across this style of uh, Renfrey since the nerf. So this just dies, does it? Unless I give it a leader charge. Damage an enemy by six. So I'll survive. Right? Damage, not destroy. Last card. Council into Gord. We're gonna go Caress into the Seer. By doing so, we get a reactivation of Caress. We're gonna play that onto the four. No, it's been removed. Fair enough. 
We're just gonna go double caress into Seer. They used to call me Shrike. Wanna know why? Hey, what's up, Corp? How are you? <laughs> Lots of boost. You still don't know? Um, feel free to jump on the Discord, my friend. If uh, that wasn't enough. And you can post your question there in the chat. Losing a little bit of value on the vitality, but uh, I didn't know that line was going to happen. So we're likely to see a tall punish here. Was it Triss? Really? Triss. Is that is that worth it in their deck? Triss Meteor Shower. The only good human is a dead human. So maybe we eat a tall punish now. Like we lose the 14 to Vilgaforts. Yeah. What are we getting out? Sorceress maybe? An interesting wow, would you look at that? That was a fantastic play. 